Hey buddy, and welcome to learn how to choose and connect with an Oracle card deck. Yesterday I launched my new Oracle card reading course called Be the Oracle. And I've had a few people sign up already and I've also had the question of how do I even go about getting an Oracle deck come up from several people as well. So I wanted to do a video to explain to you how you go about choosing an Oracle deck or a tarot deck, a card deck for divination purposes, and how to connect with the deck as well. If you Google this, you are going to probably see something like you need to be given your Oracle deck by somebody else. It has to be a gift or it has to be passed down or you should go into a crystal shop and let your guides pull you to the correct deck. Um, and then to connect with the deck that you do choose, you probably hear something like uh, meditate over it, sage it, pray over it, sleep with it under your pillow. One today I saw was like, hold it against your heart and imagine it fusing with you. Okay. And that's typically what you will hear when you research how to purchase and connect with a deck. And I'm just here to say that's all fucking bullshit. If you don't know me, if you're new here, I'm Jess Nightingale. I'm a professional psychic medium giving readings professionally for the past 10 years. I feel like that matters and I have clout here and I have something to say about how you can give readings too. And if you know me, you also know that I cut to the chase. I teach you based off lived experience and I really cut all the fat out so that you're not having to navigate connecting with your intuition like what what's happening what's been happening lately or what's been happening historically is that when you look up how to connect with cards how to connect with your intuition it's very woo woo okay and there's a feeling of it being gate kept like this information is only for a select few or you have to jump through these burning ho hoops in order to connect with your intuition and none of that is true none of that is true and it is my delight to deliver the truth to you and today the truth that i'll be talking about are how to select and connect with oracle cards so how to choose oracle cards just pick a deck usually I would suggest to my clients that they choose a deck that they can afford comfortably. Choose a deck that's available, readily available, easy to get. Um, choose a deck that you find is pretty, pleasing. Choose a deck that looks interesting to you. Okay. It literally doesn't matter what deck you pick when you choose oracle cards or tarot cards it literally does not matter so choose something that you can afford and you can easily get okay i have a deck of cards here that i bought from amazon i buy all of my card decks from amazon i don't need to drive my ass to a crystal shop and overpay for a card deck I can just go on Amazon and spend $20 and get a nice deck. Okay. One second. I've got a whack-a-mole -a scammer here. One sec. Okay. So, yeah. Um... This is a good side note opportunity to let you know that I will never solicit a reading from you in your DMs or anything. So if anybody contacts you offering you a reading and says, says they're me, don't answer. Okay. Side note. I'm just deleting these people, but they may still get to you. 
So yeah, I typically buy my Oracle decks on Amazon because it's easy to shop. They're easy to get. They come the next day. They cost me $20. Okay. And I don't overthink it. I don't like feel into it with my intuition or like try to feel into it with my intuition. I just pick one. You just need to pick one. Because the fact is that your cards are pieces of paper with ink on them. And that's all they are. And any connection that you make with them through your intuitive pathways or any predictions that you make are coming from you. The cards are just the tools. They have no inherent power. They aren't their own entity. They're just paper with ink on them. They're a tool for you to have a visual representation of what your intuition wants to share with you, of your higher self's guidance. They're a visual representation of that. And no matter what deck you get, your intuition is going to show you through that deck exactly what you need to see whenever you read that deck. So you can buy your cards, you can make your cards. The number of cards doesn't matter, but keep in mind when you're doing spreads, you're gonna want to have a few options. So I like to have, you know, at least 25 cards. But you do you, boo. You do what pleases you. Your cards are tools and that's it. Let's not make them more important than they are. Let's, let's claim our worthiness and our value and know that we are the operative power. We are the ones that channel our intuition. And the cards are literally just a physical manifestation of that. Okay? So pick your cards. Please do not pay a ton of money for cards unless you have a ton of money you want to spend on cards. Okay? Um, but like I said, again, know their true worth, which is paper and ink, and then spend a, what you think paper and ink is worth to you. <laughs> um, if you guys know me too or have had a reading with me, you know I use a deck of playing cards typically. So whenever I give readings personally um, with my clients, these days and for myself i've been using playing cards <laughs> okay i can get a three pack of playing cards for ten dollars or something it truly doesn't matter okay so how do you connect with your cards hmm? this one is kind of a hard thing to answer because you don't need to <laughs> You don't need to connect with your cards. They're not a separate entity. They're not a spirit to connect with. And, you know, the truth of the truth is that every material thing in your reality is a manifestation of you. It's all coming from you. It's all connected to you. So you don't need to connect with your cards. You don't need to sleep on them. You don't need to hold them against your heart and pray. You don't need to go through each card and like meditate on it. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's just, an, it's silly to me, you know, all these instructions and steps of how to connect with your cards is only keeping you from accessing your true intuitive powers. They're distractions. Okay. So you don't need to connect with them. I'll show you what I do when I get a new deck of cards. That's why I have these here. So I purchase them these days from Amazon. I purchased these months ago because I had planned to deliver this course a long time ago, but it just was not divine timing yet. So these have just been sitting in a pile for a few months. So here's what I do. I get the package. I open the package. Sorry for that loud noise. I can't even remember what deck this is. Ooh, pleasantly surprised. This is cute. The Animal Apothecary deck. Can't get a good pick because of the plastic, but this is nice. I like. 
And when I say I like and this is nice, I'm not saying that from a psychic perspective. I'm not being like, oh, these have such good energy. Oh, yeah, these are good energy. These are powerful. I just know it. <laughs> no, I just like them because I like the pictures and the colors so far. <laughs> it's cute. Right, Crystal? Yeah. Okay, so here they are without the plastic. Love this. So I would open the deck, I open the plastic. I'm ready to go, girls and boys. I'm ready. I'm ready to read. Oh, no, I am not ready to read because guess what? We're missing one important step before you use your new deck. Mm, here's the important step. Open it. Find the little book that comes with it. Throw that motherfucker away throw it away burn it either throw it away in a garbage you are not going to go retrieve it when you start pulling cards or burn it so you can't retrieve it again that book is not helping you and it's going to stagnate your connection to your intuition listen do not miss this piece get rid of the fucking book even if you're choosing a tarot deck you do not need to know the written definitions. And you'll are, people will fight me on this. Yeah, girl, launch that bitch. People will fight me on this. And a lot of people who are really, really connected to their tarot deck will fight me on this. But you don't need to know the book answers or like the book descriptions. In fact, learning those things is keeping you from connecting with your intuition at full power. Okay, so cards are pieces of paper with ink, tarot cards, oracle cards, that's all they are. And what matters is how we connect with them when we read them in the moment. And when you read a book or you memorize the meanings, then that meaning is going to cloud every single one of your predictions. Okay, so be more open and fluid with your cards. Just know that as you use them, you'll read them in the moment. They'll mean something different every time. And if you come to my card course, I'm going to teach you one card spread that's comprehensive, but it's one card spread that will answer time-based questions, um, questions about someone's life, questions about someone's week, questions about someone's year, Okay, and so what I'm going to teach you is the spread and context. The question you're asking is way more important than what the book says the cards mean. Trust me on this. Throw the fucking book away and never, ever look for it again. <laughs> oh, these are so fucking cool. Check these out. All right. And so I guess what else I would do with my new deck, like I'll probably shuffle it a bit just to break up the, the die cut. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I'm ready to read. I do not go through every card. I don't go through each one and think about what it could mean. Don't even care because I'm not asking a question right now. And the meaning of the card depends on your question. Okay. So, does anyone have any questions about this? So many people are overcomplicating it. I've had at least three people interested in my program message me since last night asking questions about how to get a deck and which deck should I choose and how many cards should there be and like where should I get it and none of that matters. You could just make your own. Crystal, what if you don't have a question and you're just looking for guidance? There's always a question, Crystal. So you're looking for guidance on something, right? That's your question. The something that you're looking for guidance on is your question. And anyone that says, oh, I don't have a question is just not feeling their worth. <laughs> People like that come to me for a reading and I'm like, what do you want to know? And they're like, well, I don't know. They do know. They do know. They know exactly what they want to know, but they don't think that they're worthy enough to ask it. 
That's all it comes down to. It's a people pleasing thing or a worthiness issue. So if you are doing it to yourself where you're like sitting down with your cards and thinking, oh, what should I do? Like, I don't really have a question. Then you got to get real with yourself because you do have a question and you're important enough to have an answer to that question. You're important enough to ask it. It's OK for you to want to know. It's OK for you to want to know. It's OK for you to want things. It's OK for you to have things right? Yeah. So no, I never just pull cards for a general, what do I need to know? That is a surefire way to lose interest in your cards because you will not get an accurate reading that way. Okay. There's so much confusion that comes from that. Like even just trying to interpret the answer, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> even co context is everything. Okay. Crystal, I'm a caregiver watching someone decline. Yeah, so you really need strength. You've got strength. But also, here's your question then, Crystal. Where can I draw strength from? Where is my strength coming from today? What should I be focusing on today? What should I be grateful for today? Okay. Okay. So always form it into a question, guys. Do not just say, what do I need to know today? Without it being tied to like something specific, like with Crystal and her situation. Don't just ask, what do I need to know? Because the truth is that your brain is going to interpret it with like confirmation bias. It's going to interrupt your, your intuition from talking to you. Okay. Just, just believe me. <laughs> so yes, I am going to, in my course, be teaching you guys how to read Oracle cards from buying them to giving a reading to somebody else. It's not hard. It's not complicated. And you don't need permission to do it. That means you don't need to feel like you have some sort of intuition already. You don't need to feel like that to do this. Um, there's no meditation that's going to be required. There's no sage that you're going to have to burn. There's no crystals you're going to have to purchase or books. Uh, just me and you. Workshop every week, coaching every week, and me teaching you everything you need to know to accurately make predictions with your Oracle card deck and nothing you don't need to know. Eliminating everything that is extra fluff that you don't need to know. I guarantee you will be able to give accurate readings by the end of this eight week course. Guaranteed. I should make a money back fucking guarantee. <laughs> um, so whether you're new to Oracle cards, whether you've been using them for a while and you just can't seem to get some good juicy accuracy with them or you're wanting to um you're feeling like you're not connecting with them or you're missing something when it comes to reading your oracle cards to whether you're a professional and have been using cards if you take this course you're going to come out of it with so much confidence and clarity in your ability to read cards but also in your ability to connect with your intuition okay so, um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions about this, please let me know. I'm happy to answer anything. This is not a gatekeeping situation. What do you want to know about reading cards? I will help you. And if you're interested in joining the course, I will leave the registration details somewhere around this post, around this live stream. Um, it's an eight week private group container where I'm going to be coming on twice weekly at least to engage with you guys and teach you guys. And it's only 99 bucks Canadian until the 3rd of July. So come hang out. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Have a wonderful day.